What up everybody, it's Rev Reynolds and I'm here at the carpool line for my children and it is Wisdom Wednesday. So I wanted to drop a little bit of truth to you. Uh, if you hadn't been watching these, I've been reading through the Bible this year and we're in Numbers. Uh, we talked a little bit about this last week, how Leviticus, Numbers, it gets a little tough, but man, there was such a cool story, uh, but also a very disheartening story that I came across in Numbers 17, I believe it was, where Moses has already taken the Israelites, delivered them from Egypt, delivered them from being enslaved to this world, and they start grumbling and complaining on the path towards the promised land. And they tell Moses, like, why'd you bring us out here to die? We have no water. We're struggling. And if you remember, God's given them food in the past. He's taken care of them. But so quickly they forgot what God's plan was and that he would provide. And so Moses goes to God and says, help me out here. These, these people are just yelling and screaming and they think we've led them astray. Help me. And, and God tells him, go to, go to this rock and I want you to go to this rock and I want you to speak to this rock and water will come out of this and this will be satisfying to the Israelites. And so he goes over to this rock and you got to know, man, he's had it up to here. Like he, he has been listening to their grumbling for so long. And so he goes to this rock. Instead of just speaking to the rock, he ends up striking the rock. And God does provide just like he told Moses he would. And he takes care of the Israelites. But something else comes about when God looks at Moses and says, because you disobeyed me, because you took my truth and you tried to add your spin to it, you will not make it to the promised land. And and my wife and I were talking about this. It's like gut-wrenching because God has done all of this stuff with Moses and delivered him and put him in charge. And then in this moment of weakness, and Moses has had a lot of weaknesses, but God knew that Moses knew better. And still, Moses took what God was ready to deliver the Israelites with, the words of the Lord, and he decided to put his spin on it and because of that, it changed the whole trajectory of his calling in his life. And I just want to encourage you today, no matter what's going on, and I know we can feel like Moses, that everybody around us, even when they know God, they've seen God, they know God's past faithfulness is a great prediction, what he's going to do in the future. They lose their way. And it's so easy to take the word of God and use it to strike against people. It's so easy to take the truth that we know and to be angry and come after them with it. But when we do that, when we begin to take grip or take hold of God's truth and put our spin on it, we begin to dilute God's plan. And not only do we have the opportunity to change the path of so many, man, it just might change your path too. And so I just encourage you, stop looking up Stop looking up and around you and all the chaos and just look back down into God's truth and take that truth that it was that will and that has set you free. And you don't have to add anything to it. All you have to be is obedient. And God will not only bless you and help you reach the promises that he's given you, but it will change the path to so many. But it's only when we take hold of it for ourselves and we try to manipulate, we try to maneuver in a way that God hasn't called us, do we begin to change the path that he set even before us? And that's not a fun place to be in. So don't forget how faithful God's been in your life. And it's okay to have this expectation that he's going to continue to deliver you. You don't have to add anything to it. The story is good enough from the mouth of God. He doesn't need us, but yet he loves us enough to let us play a part. Don't put your own spin on it. Don't grip it and rip it and try to help people um, and push them in a direction that he's not calling us to. Just love and deliver the truth and it will change every aspect of your life. I can promise you that. But I hope you have a fantastic week. Hopefully you're reading through the Bible this year as well as I try to encourage everybody to do. And I know sometimes uh, you get into the thick things of the genealogy of scripture and stuff like that, but there's always a truth that we can take away from. And there's always a place where we can put ourselves in a store and go, 
How can we learn? Because everything in there is a truth that has a lesson to it that helps mold you into the man or woman of God that he's called you to be. Man, be safe. Let us know. The All Pro team is always here to serve you at a capacity of how we've been served by God. Uh, and we will continue beyond a transaction loving and supporting you as a family. And hopefully together we can uh, place you in a path that God has for you. Have a fantastic Wednesday and we will see you next time. Holla.